All right, so we're peeking out on Timely Demise, created by someone named Eric Reuter, who has also worked on a game I really liked, just like um, Richard Gray the other day, this, this being Shadow Warrior, which is almost as good, maybe a little equal to Duke 3D and level design, but let's not talk about that right now. Uh, he also went on to work on 007 Nightfire, though I'm not sure which version of the game. And he stuck with the Shadow Warrior series, because he did. I think he also did some map work on... The 2013 Shadow Warrior and the second game. Also the Nameless mod, which I know is pretty good from what I remember hearing, but I've, I've never played it. Uh, yeah, anyway, so this is a pretty solid map. Not quite top tier opposing force or even regular Half-Life Deathmatch, but you know, this gets the job done in spades. Alright, so the thing about this one here is that you got this like little... You got a parking area and you got a, like, a little technological area. And plus a helipad. I don't know why I described the map like that, but yeah, anyway, here we go. So I'm going to move over here first before I start talking about anything. Uh, you come this way, yeah, this is where you kind of lead out into the helipad. So let's go from here, let's talk about the high-tech place first. By the way, this little patch right here always looked to me like something was supposed to be hidden behind it. But yeah, I could never find anything or trigger anything. So if there is something there, I'm just too stupid to figure it out. So you got yourself a wrench, always helpful. You got healing kits, you got um, HEV charging station. Uh, you got Link Dead, but I don't think that's actually part of the map. Um, you can pick up the revolver over here. I don't know which in one of these rooms, but we're getting pretty close. Um, here you get some ammo for the machine gun, which is, uh, not up there because that's where the, the displacer is. Uh, I'll show you how you can get that normally. Uh, there's the revolver. There it is. I thought it was in one of these rooms. Uh, so yeah, if you can't tell, you can climb up here. Gra um, and if you're also down here, you can grab some ammo for either the, uh, 357 or I believe the, uh, Deagle's here too. I could be wrong. Come up here to grab the rocket launcher, good time guaranteed for all, get the ammo for it. And that's where the machine gun is, I thought it was close here. So if you jump over here, make sure you do this. Grab the machine gun, then drop down and grab the displacer. So you can have super fun time now and grab the uh, machine gun am ammo, of course. Because you know, that's the thing about a machine gun, it shoots through that freaking ammo really fast. Uh, before we move on to the other little like tech areas here, come this way. Because as you saw over there, there's another plot you can go to. Go through this blue corridor here, and hidden in the dark, sort of, is the long jump. Gotta get that ASAP. And especially come back this way so you can grab the uh, gauze, and you can use this to jump around, but I don't know why I'm explaining that to you. Grab some claymores here, which you can be a real lad, and uh, place in here, which I'm gonna do so I can't go back that way. And this leads you out to the helipad area, which we'll talk about in a little bit. First, though. Gotta waste some supplies. Good stuff. I don't know how practical it would be to lay a claymore, a set of claymores in there, considering that you blocked yourself off from doing anything. But hey, what the hell do I know? So anyway, yeah, let's go back this way. Use the long jump. And now, if you decided you want to go this way, you got some nice stuff here. You got some more machine gun ammo. We can break these, by the way. I keep forgetting. I mean, you can also set those off unnecessarily. I swear you can break these. Yeah, you can break these. Grab another wrench, which I always forget about. Uh, grab the spore launcher, and yeah, that's the, uh... There's actually not a way to get up here from the other spots, but I have an inkling that... There's something up here, yeah. I've never actually done that before, but hey, there you go, there's some supplies. See, you learn stuff about maps every day. Obviously, I get the spores. If you see someone come through there and you want to set a nice little trap in them, you can always shoot those too. But we're not going to do that. I'm going to kill this guy unnecessarily and miss, so never mind. Break these. I don't like- see, my problem is is when, like, the destructible crates are set to make, like, the normal banging sound, like, against the wall. It makes me think nothing's happening. Hate that shit. Not exclusive to this map, but I've seen it done before. Quite a few goodies to get in the parking lot area here. You can get some Claymore, as you saw. Get some satchels, good stuff. Get some supplies. We'll talk about the tank in a second. I want to blow these up, even though I probably just could just did that another way I'm about to show you. But we're going to do it this way anyway, because I- 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 I want variety. And then make sure to break that one. Because there, you got this button, which we'll talk about in a second. Uh, this isn't for show, by the way. You can use that, like, kind of like in Stockyard. Remember that gun? Um, this is just as powerful. Uh, limited utility, though, because there's a lot of different places to hide. But people will spawn here. Uh, probably not with just eight people. I'm not likely to just have someone spawn and, right, like, immediately kill them. It can happen, though. So keep that in mind. Um, so this button here, I'm not going to press it. But when you press that, yeah, this closes. Because there's buttons on multiple sides and the bot's like clicking them randomly. But you can lock people in here, there. And you can also open it up from this side. Kind of don't like that at all because I like my uh, deathmatch maps to be open 
to every area at all times. Or rather, I don't like doors in deathmatch areas. It's a hard feeling to describe. Anyway, here's the uh, deagle. Uh, you can open this from this side, too, because there has to be two doors here. I don't know why he did this router. I don't like it. Uh, and yeah, this is the final little area here. Well, there's actually this little corridor here, so never mind. I uh, grabbed the SMG here. Really important. Although, um, not t entirely as useful as it could be in such an open area. But, you know, if you start down on the ground floor here, definitely grab it. And grab the uh, satchels, too. There's a lot of satchels in this mark. I'm not, map. I'm not complaining about that. Come up this way to grab some grenades, some health, and everyone's favorite sniper rifle. Uh, which is useful up here, of course, but really, you can take this all over the map. And there's actually a few good sniping spots I can think of in the, like, the, like, the vents and stuff like that. Or even, like, over here. There's just a lot of places to use a sniper rifle, but I don't really need to tell you that. Um, yeah, here's the final little area. Get another SMG. That one's got some AR grenades. Always a good time. Got the shock trooper, which is nice, but, you know, without any water here to fucking insta-kill yourself, it's not worth it. Uh, yeah, there's a shotgun somewhere, and I actually forget where it is. I have an inkling I walked by it somewhere in, like, one of these corridors, because I distinctly remember it being in one of these corridors. So let me just dick around real quick. It's probably this one. I swear, it, there's a shotgun in this map, and it's in the corridor here. I don't... Never mind. It's here. This is this map. Uh, untimely Demise. It's really fun. You should try it out. I feel some of the text scrolls fast, like faster, slower, like you know the little all-star uh, deathmatch introduction. Also, you notice too, I'm sure, like I'm not the first to point this out. The uh, little like scope, like laser sight thing on the 357 doesn't always spawn immediately in the opposing force here. It just kind of appears out of nowhere, like once you like do something with it. It's weird. Oh wow, I'm surprised I actually killed him with that. By the way, it only took the whole entire fucking supply of ammo I had on it. Nice having working satchels again, though. You want some of this? I guess you do. Oh, I don't want it! I don't want it! I forgot you can't turn that far. Oh god! Can I Indiana Jones this shit? No, I can't. But let's all good because I'll get revenge anyway. Fuck you! I have to kill you with this. It's my destiny! Fuck! I feel like Mario doesn't even want anything to do with me, actually. He's not even trying to kill me. Oh well. I mean, maybe he called it untimely demise because of the fact that you can spawn right in front of that tank. And, like, just get shot immediately. But I would say don't do that, because that's not good design. I really do like this map. It's pretty good. But, you know, it's not particularly fight fair design. I would have put the spawn, like, right in front of one of the, like, little concrete pillars. So at least you have a second to figure out what the hell's going on. Oh, well. I'm getting so triggered by the cord that, like, the USB cord that my phone's connected to right now. It's in the way! Get over there! Thank you. Sir, are you okay? Is there something you want to tell me about, or are you just, like, doing a sick anime pose? Oh my god, he's not corporeal! Oh my god, there's this twin over there. This is all adding up now. I don't know what's going on! Everything is bizarre! I don't think the corner is going to prevent those explosive, like, little orb things from killing you, my friend. Sorry. Everyone's obsessed with the corner today, I guess. I don't know. See? Well, that was Untimely Demise. Uh, A minus or A, I don't know.